If you just watched the first video, then welcome back, and if not, then what we're looking at here is a few of the, the less common ways that a runner can be called out while he's out on the base paths, and this is certainly not all of them, but just a few of the, the more less common ones that we're looking at uh, in this video, or these two videos. So last time we looked at four, this time we're going to look at three, and and the first two of these uh, involve uh, failing to touch a base or, 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 or over sliding a base and failing to go back. So the first one is that a runner is out when he fails to return to first base after sliding or, or over sliding or over running that base. So the runner is out when he fails to return, or, or as, the, as the rules say, he fails to return at once uh, to first base after over running or over sliding uh, that base. And so then there, there's, after that, it kind of breaks it off into to two parts. It says that if if he does that and then the runner attempts to go to second base then it's just kinda like a normal play and so what the defense has to do is get the ball and, and tag him out but um, so let's, let's write that if, if the runner attempts to go to second base uh, he must be tagged Where, if if the if the runner uh, kind of ab ab abandoned for whatever reason, maybe he thinks that, that there was a close play at first base and he thinks he was out, uh, and he tries to go back to the dugout. Uh, then in that that uh, situation, it would be an appeal play. So if he if he he goes to the rule book covers a couple of different uh, possibilities it says to his position or the dugout uh, he can can be tagged or called out on an appeal and so so perhaps this is something that, that should have been covered in, in the really early videos and that's basically says that whenever I'm so sure it's something you'll see pretty much in in every single game and that is if there's a, a batter up the bat and he hits a single especially if it stays in the infield that batter is going to run to first base and he's not just going to stop on the base he's actually going to continue uh, and run through it and, and a lot of times they'll will kind of peel out this way and that's to avoid any confusion that he's attempting to to make it the second base but so so he's he's not out or he, he he can't be tagged out when he's off the base as long as he comes right back to the base and stands on there and that's really what this this rule is referring to is that he can run through the base but as soon as he either or, uh, turns towards second base or or uh, he tries to leave the field then he's he's kind of fair game to to be tagged out the next way we can look at we're running out of colors here is that the runner is out when uh, in running or sliding into home base or home plate he fails to touch it, touch home plate, and makes no attempt to return to it. So, so he, he fails to touch home plate when running or sliding. And he, he makes no attempt. to return to the base. 
And so this would be done uh, on a, a, an appeal play where a, a player then would, would get the ball and he would step on home plate and then the umpire who, who sh should be watching. And a lot of times, if you, you watch games closely, a home plate umpire, when it, even if there isn't a play on home plate, he will actually make the, the safe signal whenever a, a runner comes across and steps on the base just kind of for this this reason. Uh, the final way is, is kind of a, probably a situation that you'll never see, and it's kind of a, a, a silly situation, and that is that after a runner has acquired uh, possession of a base, he runs the bases in reverse order for to either to confuse the defense or the rule book uses the phrase to make a travesty of the game. So the runner is out when he runs the or, or, or really it starts out that after he has legally acquired the base, he runs runs the bases in reverse order uh, to confuse the defense or or, or or make a travesty of the game. And so whenever this happens, the, the rule book tells the umpire that he should immediately call timeout and then call the runner out. So that's not, not an appeal play at all. That's just the, the whenever that happens, uh, the the umpire should should stop play and, and call them out right away. And so the the reason that's in there is because at one point that wasn't a rule, and so maybe we'll look at uh, why somebody would have would have done that. It seems like a, a silly thing, but there's a few rare situations where somebody might have have done it for whatever reason. So that's that is why that rule exists. But uh, so there are seven more ways. I think now we have covered every different way that a batter and a fielder can be covered out throughout the, the whole history of these, these videos.